Hey there, friends. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're going to quickly go through part two of my August 2020 home fragrance empties. I did mention in my part one video, which I will link below for you guys, that part two would probably be pretty small because I, uh, I have been, in fact, quite busy the last half of August. Um, I went away my last two weekends off, and otherwise I just feel like it's been one thing after another. So all I got through since the last video is four Scentsy Bars and one candle. So Pepper is here if you want to say hi. Here's Pepper. There's my poopy. Hi, baby. Nope. It's so funny now that I am, like, trying to put her in my video. She wants no part of it. But back in the day when I was constantly trying to get her off of this table, she just wouldn't go anywhere. And now that I just have embraced it, she wants no part of it, of course, right? But that's my baby girl. So I think we should talk candle and then Sunsy. How does that sound, guys? I finally, 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 I picked this up. I want to say candle day or sometime in the fall, winter. Um, the Bath & Body Works 3 Wick of Pink Fairy Gumdrop. I'm not 100% sure if this was the lid that came with it. It looks like it could be, but I'm not positive. I don't think this candle has notes on it. No, so maybe it was purchased prior to candle day. Anyway, I had this in my spring, summer melting basket. Wanted to finish it. I think I have now officially finished all of the spring summer candles that I wanted to finish which is really exciting I'm impressed that I was able to do that I'm still going through a lot more scentsy than candles um just because the candles haven't been performing great and I'm not really buying candles because they are a ridiculous price so pink fairy gumdrop was released I want to say last winter or new year's ish I can still smell it right now with the lid off performance on this bad boy was was decent you can see it actually burned down to the end this was another funny candle okay let's talk about scent notes let's not get ahead of ourselves here i'm sorry i didn't look up the scent notes but i wonder if i'm the only one that feels this way to me pink fairy gum gumdrop is a dead on dupe for the Sorry, I'm just looking behind me to see the name of the candle. Is it the Be Mine candle? The one that was released at Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day with the candy hearts on it. This, to me, smells dead on the same. And I liked that candle, so I do like this candle. But actually, I guess this wouldn't be the dupe. I guess the Be Mine candle would be the dupe, right? Because this one was released first. So it's sweet candy powdery candy though like not cotton candy but powdery candy sorry tried to straighten out the cam camera and I almost knocked it over it's good even now it doesn't smell bad which normally by the end of a Bath and Body Works candle it just smells like soot it's a good scent um as was the Be Mine and it performed, it burned pretty cleanly, burned down really low. I remember lighting this for the last time and going to bed to watch TV and thinking, yeah, it won't make it much longer. And it did self-extinguish. <sighs> but, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Here's the thing. The first, like, third of this candle, I could barely smell. I don't know, I'm starting to think maybe it's my kitchen. I have this very tiny square kitchen so you would think that scent would get trapped in there and, and things would perform really well i find scentsy performs okay in my kitchen but not the bath and body works three three wicks so i don't know maybe next time that i find similar performance issues maybe i'll take that candle and put it in a different room just to see how it does but yeah, so the first third of this candle, I could barely smell it. I had to be within like two or three feet of it to smell it. But then it kicked my ass. I walked into the kitchen one night and I was like, whoa, okay, now I smell it. So at that point, the strength and throw was like, you know, a six or a seven. And then towards the end, it kind of petered out a bit to like a five or a six. So take that for what you will. Would I repurchase? I would. I do like the scent. Um, 
and I do like this packaging. It's really pretty packaging, and I like the name Pink Fairy Gumdrop and all that, but I don't know. I could live without it, I think, but I do like the scent. I'm just really getting tired of the performance of some of these candles, and I know I'm not alone, but uh, yeah, so that's Pink Fairy Gumdrop, and now just a few Scentsy Bars, guys. Up first, I just finished this, actually. This was also in my melting basket I wanted to finish. I had one orange dreamsicle that I had thrown in my um, Scentsy Club, and then before I even got the order, I removed it because I knew it wasn't something I was going to need multiples of. This was interesting. In the clam, it's very artificial creamsicle. It just smells like a creamsicle, like an orange dreamsicle. Very sweet, very vanilla, very orange, very ice cream. Warming, guys? It was really, really disappointing. I could barely smell it. I don't know, what is up with that? I expected that to be just like a crazy strong performer. Maybe it's a good thing that it wasn't because it would have been so sweet. But yeah, I, I could live without that fragrance. It was fine. I liked it. You know, strength and throw was disappointing. But I mean, I might try it again at some point. I didn't hate it. That's for sure. But it was meh. <laughs> Up next, I finally warmed my first bar of Pina Colada Cha Cha. I know people are obsessed with this scent. Um, I only picked it up because a customer had ordered it at one point and I sniffed out her bar and I thought, okay, I see you, not bad. So I did um, grab one for myself. I am not huge into um, pineapple coconut scents, but this really does smell like a pina colada. I get, on cold, I get more coconut, but when it's warming, I feel like there's more pineapple, personally. I did like it, um, which is surprising. I would repurchase, but not, um, obviously not until next spring, summer. If it comes back in the catalog, I might try, try another one next spring, summer. Um, and if it didn't, I would be fine with that. So also in my warming basket was, please focus. It really wants to, there we go. Pistachio ice cream. Everyone talks about what a poor performer this is. Like it's such a great scent, but you can't smell it. I actually found it performed better than Orange Dreamsicle. And I purposely saved this scent, Orange Dreamsicle and Pina Colada Cha Cha for August because I, I thought, you know, hot weather, ice cream, Pina Colada, August, right? So it is a beautiful creamy pistachio scent. This, this clamshell is like super discolored, which is interesting considering how new this bar is. But I've mentioned before that I find really strong vanilla-based scents tend to discolor the clamshell more often, so that makes sense. It literally smells like pistachio ice cream. I actually treated myself to a takeaway of almond pistachio ice cream a few weeks ago from a local place. It was unreal, and all I could think about was this bar because this is such an authentic smell. It literally smells like pistachio ice cream. And honestly, this performed better for me than the Orange Dreamsicle. I remember it being kind of a poor performer back in the day, like the last time I did warm a bar of that, I think, the first summer it was released. And I liked it, but I remember thinking, you know, it's just not strong enough. I really like super strong scents, as you guys know. Um, but it performed better this time than I remember, so I'm not really sure why, but not complaining. I don't know, if it comes back under the bring back my bar, I might grab one and just let it cure for a bit because I love the scent enough that it might be worth it to try one more bar because as I've mentioned before, I find older bars perform better than newer bars. They tend to be stronger, blah, blah, blah. So I think if I bought that bar and then saved it, say for like the following spring, summer, I think it might perform a little bit better, but it was better than I could remember anyway. The last bar, guys, and I just recently purchased this, as you'll recall, in my clearance haul. Please focus. I've noticed since I've been filming with my new phone instead of my old camera that we're not focusing very well. Pristine Waters. This was in the clearance section. Um, it was a scent of the month when it first came out, and I did like it back when it first came out, so I did grab a couple. I warmed this in my bedroom. I have two warmers in my bedroom, and I warmed it in my bathroom and entryway. So I probably did 
two cubes in each warmer in my bedroom, two or three in the entryway, and then one or two in the bathroom, but it wasn't as strong as I recall. I find these cologne watery type aquatic scents to be really strong typically. This wasn't really strong and I don't know why. I remember it being stronger, but still a beautiful scent guys. Yeah, it straight up smells like woodsy men's cologne and I love it. I kind of wish it was a little bit stronger so I could get away with using a little bit less wax. I have one bar left of this and I think I'm gonna savor it for a bit. But yeah, I definitely get a woody note, an aquatic note, a cologne note. It was good. I liked it. So yeah, that's that. That's all I That's all I was able to finish up the last little bit here of August, guys. What did you use? What do you think of this, uh, these scents? Every time, right? Every time I try to make this look cute, I wreck it. There we go. I'm sorry, it is very dark in here right now. I do apologize. I'm gonna move you just a little. Have any of you used any of these scents? Does anyone else think that pink fairy gumdrop is the same as the Valentine's candle? Or am I crazy? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I was. That's that, guys. I appreciate you watching and I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more. Guys, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming content. And there will be upcoming content. I am going to film probably right now my August 2020 hair, body, and skincare empties for y'all as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, I hope you're all having a wonderfully scented day. Bye!